Hello, hello, and welcome. Let me move this forward because you can kind of see my overhead camera. There we go. Hello, I'm so glad you're here, everyone. I feel bad because normally I send out a text when we're about to go live so that if people forget, and the service to send out a text isn't working. So thank you for all remembering to show up today. I'm thankful you're all here. Uh, I will admit, I ha I'm nervous. I'm normally not nervous anymore doing this, but I'm nervous because today's guest is like the best of the best, and I want I want to... I want to like do this right, so I'm I'm very excited. Um, my guest today is the is the person in this industry that I feel really just defines joy and um, has brought a lot of joy to crafting. So uh, let's go ahead and welcome Kelly Marie Kelly Maria Alvarez from Lawn Fawn. Look Hi, at her, she's well, adorable. Well, now I'm like tearing up because I was really sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Oh, I am so glad to be here. I am so excited. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you said you're a little nervous too. I think I am. Because I am nervous. I'm a nervous Nelly sometimes. So I've been, I've been, uh, I told my son this morning, I said, I'm a little nervous today. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. Your son's yeah. a doll and my, and my daughter has just wants to meet him so badly. So oh, he, he would love that. She, she crocheted him the cutest toys and he sleeps with them every night. One is a red seahorse, which is one of his favorite animals and his favorite color and he's just over the moon <laughs> yeah well, well she anytime you send a picture I have to show her right away <laughs> have to show her right away so um Kelly Marie Kelly is um has how long how old is Lon Fawn now Lon Fawn is 14 years old 14 which is years old. wild Lon Fawn is a teenager Lon Fawn's in a high school I guess <laughs> see proof teenage years are good Right? Yeah, yeah, there you go, right? Yeah, so we have 14 years actually, and it just happened March 10th. So we just turned Aww, 14. Happy which is birthday. Really Thank you. Yeah, it was exciting. We actually had um, Erica, my other business partner. I, I own the company mm -hmm. with my husband, Mike, and Erica. And, um, and we all were able to um, get together on that day, which was really fun. And so, Erica, you found it together, right? Yes, Lawn Fawn together? we found it is together. Yeah. So yeah, someone was telling me there's an echo. Do I need to put headphones in? I'm so sorry. Do you all hear it echo? Um, some oh, may want to bump up her she's, sound. She's maxed out. Okay, can you turn my sound down yeah. then? Okay. Yeah, you're down okay. Okay. So is it more balanced now? And is yeah, there an how's echo? that? Let's see. Give it a moment here. Wonderful. So sorry. No, I usually ask. Um, said so I see no <laughs> no echo yeah the okay. I okay. We weren't able uh, oh, okay. oh, is it, oh, oh it's hit or miss some people hear oh, echo some, some people, people don't. don't funny hmm. do you know what's going try, on try try a little bit better is it better okay much better <laughs> okay so what we had to do is oh good. turn mine down so now we're both lower and you might have to just bump up the volume on your phone or your computer. Okay, no echo. Oh, wonderful. Yay. Okay. Sorry, I usually ask that from the get-go, but I forgot. So, good. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, so you yes. and Erica 14 years yes. ago, right? 14 years ago, me, Erica, and Mike, um, we, it was my idea. I'm the crafter. Erica is this incredible artist. And um, I was like, hey, do you want to do something crazy? So, <laughs> um, yeah, we came out with four stamp sets. And um, 14 years ago on our website, and that's how we started, which is really cool. <laughs> okay, so now every, you got to tell everybody how the name came up. Yes, so the name is actually named, I can grab him. It's named after this guy right here. There he is. <laughs> so we met in college playing in the orchestra pits for musicals. Um, and I, so I love deer. I have since I was a little girl, I had imaginary pet deer as one does. Um, and so I just, I don't know, I just think they're so gentle and sweet. My dad and I used to ride our bikes to go see them. And, and so my brother, as a joke, gave me this light up lawn ornament for my 21st birthday. And we used to light him up in the middle of the orchestra pits. 
and he became our good luck charm so much so that the university actually wanted to keep him because he became no, so well no. known for these musicals <laughs> but i was like oh no he's got to stay with me and as a joke i named him francois the lawn fawn because i thought yep. it was just a silly name for a lawn ornament and so when we started the company which was gosh almost 10 years later we thought it would be cute to name it after our good luck charm so that's why we named him and so he he kind of moves his way around the office sometimes he you know he stares us down <laughs> Francois has been, been around for a long time, long, longer than Lawn Fawn has. I know. He's been around forever. He's just been hanging out in my house one way or the other. His, his, the part of him that lights up has long been lost over the years. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but yeah, so he's our little good luck charm. So <laughs> That's awesome. That, does he ever get decorated like for hol holidays? No, but Has he ever had a costume? Say, oh my I'm gosh. Gonna... I mean, now that you just gave us this idea, like this, the people in this yep. office are going to run with it. We decorate the entire office for Halloween. So we get crazy. Francois here, so. needs an outfit or two. He does, Come on now. right? I know. At least, and a Santa hat, something, some bunny ears. Yes. <laughs> yeah, bunny ears. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? Lynette here, she could sew us some costumes. So oh, we're gonna, when we perfect. do that, then we're going to send photos. <laughs> Then you need to come out with a stamp set of different outfits to put on a, right, on a little, on a, on a, on a little, little deer. deer. <laughs> there you go. Um, Mike, can you make it to the comments? Move up. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. So we, um, we're kind of winging it today. We just yep. wanted an excuse to get together and do this. So Kelly has a card that she's going to share, uh, and that she's going to create. And she'll probably show some examples along the way because she's in Lawn Fawn headquarters, so she's got examples galore, right? <laughs> and um, I am going to do some stitching with some of their embroidery hoop dies. So, I mean, the stitching, while I'm doing some stitching or maybe m turning some stitch pieces into a card, we can also watch Kelly create. She's got a really cute card to create also. So, and then we can answer questions. We can, um, you know, we can just chat more. Kelly can tell some more stories from Lawn Fawn. And um, <laughs> you, you also had some ex something exciting to share too, right? Yes. So for you guys today, we have something really great. Um, we have an awesome discount code for you guys. Um, and so we have 15% off at lawnfawn.com. The code is Jennifer15, so it's easy to Yay. remember. And you'll not only get 15% off the whole site, but also a random free washi tape too. And washi tape always makes me smile. So I hope it makes you guys smile too. And that code will be live until March 28th. Um, at 11.59 p.m. Pacific, so midnight. So um, we're really excited about this. We have a release that just came out at the end of February, um, our spring release, which is so much fun. Our releases last um, two to three months, so it's got a lot of fun spring products in there that just make me smile. I hope they make you smile too. So we have that Jennifer15 code for 15% off. Thank you, that's very generous. And I didn't know you were gonna do that, and you just pulled that out of a hat, and I'm so thankful. <laughs> we appreciate yeah. it. We're excited. Anything that gets people crafting, right? So this is That's all what of we our, need. our joy and happiness. <laughs> and then you have two cute little things that you showed me before we got started. Yes. So Do you want to show that? Okay. Okay prizes too um and we made them cute because that's what we look, do. At that. <laughs> look at that so we also have two really awesome prizes um featuring some of the things we're going to show today from our brand new release and so i i believe we're going to pick uh winners from the comments at the end is that correct Jennifer? yes yeah yes. so at the end of the live mike will uh grab a couple people's names from comments left here in the chat so if you want a chance all you have to do is leave some comments. We will try, I will tell you, we will try our best to answer questions, but it is harder to answer questions when there's two people crafting, but I <laughs> promise we, we will try our best. I promise, I promise. So do you wanna, why don't we, do you wanna switch to overhead and we can start yeah. creating? All right. Okay, I'm gonna press my magic button right. here. Let's see. There we go, there's mine. I like that mine just starts with a bell pepper in it. <laughs> Hey, I'm hungry. So that works for me. Oh, yeah. So today, what we're crafting with is going to be your veggies for the week. So wonderful. Like, that's be great. So, we so if we're have, having our veggies now, we can have dessert for dinner. Yes. Ice cream for dinner is a staple for me. So I wonderful. believe everybody, not everybody should be having ice cream for dinner tonight because wonderful. we are die cutting our veggies today. And I think it counts. It does count. <laughs> and look at all the veggies. 
<laughs> I know we have so many because we had to have our garden veggies and our root veggies. You know, you've got to have uh, both. Plants. <laughs> smart, smart, smart. So what do you have there? So I have our stitch garden veggies and our stitch root veggies, and we're going to be creating a cute card inspired by those like classic farmer's market signs that are kind of that chalkboard feeling. Um, and so we are going to be using these to create that. And we're going to be using die cut papers and adding just a little inking to show how to get this like incredibly ink blended look really easy. So I'm excited Wonderful. about that. Wonderful. Wonderful. And what is the die set there on the bottom right called? Oh, yeah. So What's this that, that is one? our flower garden backdrop. It is gorgeous. Can you grab a card yes. for me, Rebecca? Yeah, Rebecca's going to. So this is our flower garden backdrop, and it makes a standard size card. All of our backdrops do. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. And it gives you this like gorgeous greenery. Um, and then it has all these extra little flowers that you can add. I'll show you guys a card in a second here. So this is what the die looks like. And then isn't this so pretty? Oh, that's see, and you could even turn that into a shaker window, like a giant shaker oh, window. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous would that be? Oh, so this one's just pieces of um, pattern paper, and we just ink, like just inked it just a teeny bit, and then this one I use my markers to color it in. Let's and see. then try, uh, there we go. Let's switch to you better. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And then this one has. Um, your marker added on to colored cardstock. So again, the same kind of technique where we add just a little bit of marker or a little bit of ink and it looks like this like incredible ink blended. And it comes to life. Back. Yeah, so this die, I just think it's so gorgeous. And here it is like portrait and we just trimmed off some of the flowers oh. so that we could fit the little greenhouse in there. So um, it's and then of, of along the top and side. Yeah, so it's really cute That's for printers neat. or like this one, we didn't add the flowers at all to give it more oh. of like that greenery nice. look and like a nighttime feel with the black border around it so it's it's such a beautiful dye i love it so much um well it's, it's just nice like one of those... all of those are a little dip i mean like those two cards right there are very very different and oh, yeah use the you can same go... dye that's cool yeah you can go from like cute critters to a more like elegant feel um so i, I like that it's like a dye that can go across all sorts of depending on what style you're feeling that day you know <laughs> and will you be using that today um, uh, I'm not going to be using this one today, but it is on my board. So I have these magnet sheets okay. and I kind of put things uh, okay, gotcha. from our release on them and they all gotcha. kind of ended up together on this magnet sheet. I see. But okay. I see. I it see. It was serendipitous because okay. I got to show you these pretty, these pretty, That uh, butterfly one is gorgeous. Isn't that one fun? And this die is really cool because it's meant to be a window in our Tada diorama, uh, but you can use the inside of it as well. So. At Lawn Farm, we like oh. love everything to be multi-purpose. So yep. the original intention for it is to be a cute little window in oh, this yeah. in card, but the inside of it gives you that butterfly. So then you can create things like this or this with it, uh. um, or even just something. This is just pattern paper in the background and a white butterfly. That's it. Ah. Uh. That's, That's a five minute excellent card. card. Yep, excellent card to use up some pattern papers too. Oh yeah, because you, you could any just use pattern this paper. Design. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. So I like like and any sentiment could go there. You could even leave the sentiment off and just have your banners ready for when you need, depending sure. if you want it to be thank you or whatnot. So I really I like that die a lot because it's just I like that you can do two things with it. Wonderful. Awesome. All right. So what are you gonna uh, let me how about yeah. I show real quick what I've got? Oh, yeah. Please. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna be stitching while you create. Um, I am using your embroidery hoop dies. So you have several of these. I have all, all this, by the way, is linked below in the YouTube description. Also, it might be helpful if, if you look at the top of the YouTube description, there is a link that has the word live in it. Mike will add it to the chat here. But if you click that link, it'll open up a page where there's thumbnails of all the different products we're talking about. So if you want to find something quickly, that's the fastest way to find it. And also for the code for um, Kelly's generous offer. That's all on that page, but it's also in the description. I'm just saying that other link gives you thumbnails, which is helpful. So I have a, li these linked below, but these are her embroidery hoop dies. And the, like the, the original set has these two, which allows you to do a stitch circle, a stitched heart. And then this one also cuts a hoop with the little, I don't know, little thingy at the top. And then, since then, they've come out with a bunch of additional ones. There is a rainbow, there's a snowflake, there's a star, 
and a flower. I think that might be all of them. I, I don't know. That's all of them. Yes. And then we also have um, Shari on our team creates free stitching patterns for the plain yep. one that we have for on our one. site. They're free to download. Um, yep. And yeah, they're awesome too. I have a link to all the free downloads that uh, the, the page that Lawn Fawn has with a bunch of free downloads for patterns you can do on this. So like they've got some Halloween ones or some Christmas. I just saw there's a cute little bunny for Easter and all you need is this and different colors of thread to do a, adorable patterns on there. And the, the patterns are free. So Shari does an excellent job. I was with her on vacation this summer and she was designing the Halloween ones while we were together. And I, I just am so impressed at how she comes up with them. So I oh, am using, this is the, this is the newest one. The flower yes. one just came out in this last release. So I am doing some stitching with that. And I'm gonna mostly do some stitching and then kind of pull some cards together. But really the technique today is you gotta see what Kelly's doing. So we're gonna go just do a little side by side. But what she's doing I think is um, something that you definitely need to see. So you wanna go ahead and get started? Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, I wanted to show a little bit about, so I've die cut a bunch of my veggies. I have my little bell pepper here, my favorite veggie. And um, I wanted to show you, we have these textured card stocks. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but What's beautiful about them is there's a texture on one side and then there's a smooth on the other. So depending on what look you're going for, you can use either side of the cardstock. And then each pack has like all these shades of purple or shades of red and orange. And so that's the cardstocks that, that I use for all of these veggies. And I use the smooth side for them. And then all I'm gonna do is just take an ink color that's a little bit darker and ink blend on it. And that's gonna give me this really cool look. So I like to just get a little bit of ink on a brush and I tap it off and then I just go really light because you can always add more, but you can't take away, you know? So, so what, I just like what to- What colors are you using there? So this is from our um, yellow textures. Yeah, and then this is number two pencil ink, which honestly looks brilliant. exactly like number two pencil. <laughs> it does, it does. Your name, Your names are absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I love we have that fun one. With them. Our meetings used to be right before lunch and we just moved them right back yeah, to right before back lunch. To so if you notice a lot of our things are either named after food or themed with food uh, and, and that's why. <laughs> so now you can see that we went from like a plain cardstock to like this beautiful thing in in 2 seconds and you can yeah, always go back and long. say oh yeah I want a little bit more here. Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay, I love that, you know? And so then I can move on to the next color. And then I'm using like one of these little mats here and I just spray it with water and then wipe it clean in between. Well, when I remember, and if not, then you get a whole new ink color. <laughs> this, this is true. And two of my favorite colors of yours are the number two pencil and your lobster. It's oh, like, it's the red, let me, right? I'm gonna grab it here if I can, if I can reach it. Let me see here. Here it is. You guys, if you, uh, one of the questions ink colors I get asked the most about is red ink. And lobster is like the perfect red. I just, it's, I love it. It's like, the, it's like the happiest red can be is lobster, yep. I think. <laughs> it, it is, it is. And that's, that's usually my answer when people are like, what Christmas red can I do? And, well, lobster seems to work for all red. It does, and it's really cute. Like um, we've got, had like a, we had a whole strawberry theme a couple years ago, and like it was cute for strawberry. It's like the perfect red. And even yep. here now, I'm actually going to use it on um, this like pinky color for the tomato, and then I'm going to bring the lobster ink onto it, and like leave the top of the tomato a little bit lighter. And the cute so thing what, about these. Oh, sorry. Is is that your texture cardstock too? This is the texture too. This is the red and okay. oranges pack. So yep. I used all the textures for the veggies. Okay. Okay. Um, just yeah, just to kind of keep it in the same family. Um, yeah. And so yeah, you can see now. And what's really cute about these veggies too is they have little faces that you can die cut from them. So they can be uh. serious veggies like they are here, <laughs> or they can be silly veggies like this gorgeous card by Shari Aww. here. So you can okay. die cut the little faces out of them and um, there's nothing like a carrot smiling at you, really. <laughs> so those little speech bubbles, I love those little sentiments because you can add those little speech bubbles. I love that you have a bunch of stamp sets with those because you can add them onto any critter or veggie or anything, but also the little sentiments themselves are great to put into tiny spots. 
because I often will do something where I just want something tiny. Like you could even put a tiny sentiment at the center of the flower. And so I really appreciate those tiny little sentiments. I think they're fun. I love that center of the flower idea. There's the teeny ones are so fun. And Erica, uh, my partner loves anything teeny and cute. And we actually came out with this stamp set in this release. It's called All the Speech Bubbles because it has all the speech bubbles. And what's yep. cute about it is all these little mini bubbles and it fits all the words in the set. But then all of Lawn Fawn sets have these really cute, tiny little phrases. And then now yep. you can see they fit inside the little yep. speech bubbles. I love them. I oh, love yeah. them. Yeah. And then this card here. So here we've got the little carrots and another card. And then we use them without the speech bubbles, the little oh. tiny phrases on the inside. So cute. So cute. It's, and it's also fun. those little, the little sentiments are also good to stamp on little circle die cuts that you can add easily onto a card, you know, like, I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I create a card and I'm like, uh oh, where am I going to find a spot for a sentiment? Like I don't want to cover oh anything gosh, up. Right? So, so to just have something small that you can add is always, always helpful. Always. Exactly. And then ours, you know, they're always going to have a, a silly and cute pun in Lawn Fawn land. So there's always something kind of fun. Or then we also have a lot of like, I love you type ones too. Yep. Yep. I love like, it. You know, more common phrases as well. For sure. So, so you now, have a tomato and a pepper, right? I've got a right? tomato and a pepper so far. So, and now I'm going to bring a carrot in and I'm going to use pumpkin spice for the carrot. We actually have a carrot ink, but what I like to do when I'm inking these cardstocks is do the shade that's just a little bit darker. So that's why I'm bringing in gotcha. the, the darker orange. And you'll see yep. it just kind of makes, and by the way, they're super cute out of plain cardstock. You don't have to do this, but it's sure. just fun. Sure. And you could, I just, it's all, I feel like you could, magic when it's done. <laughs> for sure. And you could also use like felt with those. That would be cute. Um, oh yeah. Or some subtle pattern papers. So cute. So I, I was, you were talking, I was telling you about the little sentiments. See, I went through and I grabbed some of these that have like little sentiments. This is an older one. Oh my and gosh. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> yep. Those would be good to see stamp in the center of something, but you can see there are a lot of little tiny sentiments that you, in the sets that I, I really always like. So yay for tiny sentiments. Yay. They're always needed. <laughs> They're always needed. So tell me about um, uh, where you're located. I know I saw somebody ask, where is Lawn Fawn located? So we are in a town called Rancho Santa Margarita, which is in very South Orange County, California. Um, so um, we're, you know, not too far from the ocean. Um, it's a beautiful place in like the beautiful hills out here. Um, and so, yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a nice place to be. You know, we get, I've uh, been... we've, Go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I've been out there and it is gorgeous. It's just beautiful out there. Yeah, we feel so lucky to live here. And a lot of people who work at Lawn Fawn live in San Clemente, which is like a quintessential beach, California beach town. So um, so we got surfers in the office and everything, too, because it's yeah, that's that's yeah. where we're where we're at here, which is fun. <laughs> Wonderful. And where do you where are your products? You get products made in the U.S., right? Yes. So our, our almost everything, 95% of what we do is in the U.S., our stamps, our dyes, um, our stencils, uh, whatever we can make here, we do. Um, and so uh, we really we really love that we're able to do that. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, folks are always asking which companies are. So I wanted to make sure that was that was mentioned. Um, somebody asked, do you have a store or just a warehouse? Just a warehouse here, although we do have plans to have like a little warehouse event, which we've never done before. Ooh. We're pretty excited about um, And once we get that all settled, it'll probably be more towards the summertime. So we're excited because I think it'd be really fun to have some company over. <laughs> well, I've, I've been to an event there. That was back when um, Kathy Rakusen did her coloring road, road shows. Remember yes. when we came out to yours? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. We did the Coloring Road Show um, and we've gosh. had some other events too. And then this time would be the first time that we've ever um, like act like opened up for like just general shopping instead of it being like part of a class or an event. So I think that could be really fun. But yeah, we've been so lucky. Oh my gosh, that coloring event. I think about it all the time still because it was so much fun. 
It, it, I, it came up in my Facebook memories the other day. We had a good time that weekend, didn't we? We really did. <laughs> I know. We had fun. And it, there were, Gina Kay was with us and uh, Heidi from Simon yeah. and May from Altenew. It was, it was a good old time. Um, it was. The cover dye. Somebody asked the dye about the cover dye. I think oh, the, they're one. Oh, the, the one dye. that you showed. Yes. What's yes. that called again? Um, it's called Flower Garden Backdrop, and we'll we'll okay. have maybe Ashari will link it too. Um, but that's yeah, it's called our Flower Garden Backdrop, and we have lots of different backdrops. This is what it looks like again. Um, we have lots of backdrops, and when you see the word backdrop, you'll know that you'll get that four and a quarter by five and a half. The other really cool yep. thing about and I'm going to be sh using the stitch rectangle frame in this card I'm creating here is the cool thing about this frame here is on all our backdrops, it's going to line up with our stitched rectangle frames, which is an oldie, but a goodie class, like kind of classic die. I use all the yes. time yes. that gives you this frame. And so we always like for things to work together. It's one of our things that we're always working on here. And so you can see that that die will work with this ah. one. So you can do your different color frames on top on and that top. would work with any kind of backdrop dye design we've had cute we have cute fall leaves ones and spring flowers all these different designs um christmasy ones snowflake ones and you can add the frame or not you don't have to add the frame but i like that they mix and match together like that the now the thing that i like about uh some of your backdrops also is like you'll do a landscape and a portrait version and I, I love that because I mostly make portrait, but a lot of people do landscape. So it's nice that you can have either option because the hearts are going in this direction here or the horizontal landscape in this direction. And I love that you have, you often offer both. I think I've got yes. a few more of those. Here. Yeah, because I can never, because we'll try to decide. I'm like, I can't pick because sometimes I want a yeah. landscape and sometimes I want a horizontal. Here's a another like oldie but goodie go. backdrop die that gives you like yep. the hills for scenes. And so you've got your landscape and then your portrait. And then we always fill the inside with like cute little extras, like little trees and houses and yeah. things you can layer um, inside. And so I love that these, and these came out years and years and years ago. And just like the one that comes out now, they're still gonna work with that rectangle frame and all of that. So we're always trying to make sure everything really works together. So what's old is new again, always. We want you to be able to use your stash, you know? <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, some diorama, somebody asked about the diorama. Oh that yeah, was, the um, The Tada diorama. That was the yeah. butterfly one she showed earlier. I, um, yeah. There are we'll so many it. great, great samples of that. Oh yeah, um, we'll uh, grab some, we have some more too. This one, we'll grab some look more at this. from. I love it. Look how cute it is. So this is the opening. It's going to be flat. It's going to fit in a standard postage, um, standard envelope and everything. And then when you open it up, like how cute is that? And look how three dimensional it is inside. Yep. Um, and this one, we just did cute pattern papers. And I made uh, several cards using that. I did a video, but I mailed them all. So I don't have them to show, <laughs> to show now. <laughs> I know, I know uh, Rebecca's out here searching our, our stash of cards here. But yeah, there's so much fun to create. Um, and um, and I just I just think they're adorable. Here we just added in, this is from our new Happy yeah. Couples stamp set, which is cute because it's a wedding set, but they're just cute critters too. So you can use them on their own as well, which is really fun. Um, if and you're, so we'll look if, for some more to that. More. And that's the one that that one um, butterfly that people were asking about. I'll show you what the die looks like. So Butterf see the die can cut a window, no, she wants like the one for the Isn't that fun? or it can cut the An individual butterfly. butterfly inside. Yeah. So it's like got, it's got double uses. Also, you could just cut a butterfly frame into a standard card, too. So like for how sure. cute would that be with like, especially those techniques that you do, Jennifer, I always love how you do the ones where like you open it up and then something else is in the inside or it's a window to the inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love when you do that. I think that's, it's like so beautiful. Um, I think that would be cute with the butterfly. Yeah. The butterfly, butterflies are good. One of the reasons I like using butterflies is because they're symmetrical. So you can do things like a spinning element there. I mean, there are just a lot of different things you can do with symmetrical elements. So that's my, my big thing with them. Uh, I saw somebody ask, are you going to be at create? 
We are. So myself, I, I will not be, but we are going to, Lanfam will be there. We will have a, two incredible make and takes, including using our brand new Give It A Whirl interactive die. And Yay. you're going to be there with the incredible Shari. And then Yay. also we're going to have um, Allison from our team. And it's going to be like her first ever like event she's flying to. Uh, oh boy. Here, she's been with Lanfon for about like a year and a half or so, right, Allison? But because of, you know, there haven't been any events yet for her to go to. So she is so excited as well. So if you guys are at Create, you have to come say hi to Allison too. And if you want to learn how to make a give it a whirl, then we can, um, we'll be showing you that there too. And then, and then also just a cute, fun card as well. So we've got two different designs, which I'm excited about. Yes. Um, the, the, hold on. What, what Mike? The diorama, again. The diorama is a, a card that design that she just showed. I have a video. Yeah, um, we're grabbing some more Tada dioramas too. I, I, I literally the Tada diorama. I <laughs> and then it's okay. Um, you know, Brian put a Brian. Uh, Brian is the the magician who finds links very quickly and puts them in the comments. She put a link to my video in the comments there in the chat there. If you want to see how those oh, that that type of card comes together. And, and you've got to give it a whirl the, there. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, this, this is, is the so give it a whirl. Cute. So we'll be creating one at um, Create. And there you can see as you spin it, you get a cute surprise. Isn't that so fun? I love it. I've got. This is adorable. And this is cute for Easter too. Here's one of mine that I made. This is the give it a whirl. And here, mine just opens to have a heart inside. Oh, that's so cute. This was so much fun it. to put together. Yeah, they're really fun. And I like that you can use it with like any design, any idea that you might have. Um, also here we got some really cute, um, here's a fall theme to the diorama to show you guys. Oh, look at, oh, I love it. Isn't that so cute? So it's adorable. Um, I have a lot of fall and Christmas ones with this because that's when it came out. So, yep. but in Lanfam, yeah, we're starting fall. to design Christmas. So, and then this one's really cute with an ink blended sky in the background. And we use ah, acetate yes. on the little inserts so it looks like the birds are floating on branches. Nice. A few folks asked about Create. Create is a event that Simon Says Stamp puts on that many companies come to. It's in May. Um, they The classes are sold out, but they, I think I missed one. Did I miss one? No. Uh, the classes are sold out, but they have make and takes from all the different companies, and that's what um, she was talking about and you can still sign up to do that and it's over on the Simon Says Stamp website so okay so yes. what do you got going on here are you inking so, up some leaves yes and this is my magic leaf combo it's clover ink with any kind of green like our cilantro cardstock or this is one of the textures or even the new algae cardstock algae, that we have yeah. as well looks there's something about it like it just looks magical with this like little ink blend technique and you can see i'm not being perfect with it i just kind of put it over and look how gorgeous that is so it just clover brings it plus to life this kind of green yeah it just is the prettiest combo and so i'm just doing all the different little greeneries for my veggies and what's fun about the greeneries too is you can mix and match them so like you could put the carrot top on the radish or you know <laughs> whatever you would right. want to do um, right. depending on like the look or how tall you want it to be um, for your cards. I like you can mix and match them together. And so once again, I'm just kind of starting off of the, the die cuts and then coming onto them to get that look. And so like, I'm gonna make the little tips darker of this one, but then leave it light towards the top. So it kind of gets light towards the, uh, the little top of the tomato hair. It always reminds me of like a little tomato toupee. A toupee. <laughs> Every tomato needs a toupee, right? Yes. Um, I was wrong. It turns out the Simon Says Create is sold out. I didn't oh, know the make is. and takes were sold out too. Oh, I didn't know oh, that. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, hopefully well, we'll, 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 those of you that were able to get a ticket, hopefully we'll see you there. And if not, hopefully at a future event too. For sure. And while, um, while she continues to ink blend, I saw some people just catching in. Um, I am doing the Lawn Fawn Embroidery Hoop uh, dies. So I'm doing some flowers because this, this die here, the flower add-on is their newest. And um, I really, I want you guys to see the card that Kelly's putting together here. So I'm not really focusing much on stitching here. I have a lot of stitching videos. If you go to my YouTube channel and do stitching, you, 
in search on stitching or stitch, you'll see a lot show up. Um, I'll just tell you the basic of what I'm doing and then I'm gonna um, maybe assemble a couple cards here because I did a bunch of stitching yesterday. Um, but I, I, for the Lawn Fawn stitching dies, I, I'm a little different. I don't know how, do, when you use um, DMC floss, uh, do you use all six ply when you stitch with your dies? Usually three, but I will okay. say that, so Shari and Rebecca from our team are, are, are the experts and I'm yep. not. So when I stitch, I make it really simple. So like I would probably just use six because I'm not um, as well versed in stitching. Um, yep. And so I just, I just do something really simple. But if you're doing a more intricate design like yours, which is so gorgeous, then maybe you would want to use the three. So it would be a bit thinner. I use three to four. Maybe. Yeah. And Rebecca says she yep. uses three to four. Well, that's what I'm doing. I did four. So the, the DMC floss that I'm using comes in six ply. So there's th six little threads together. Some people keep them together. Like she said, you can peel them apart. I peeled apart four and I find that, that that's what I used for all these. And I find that works really, um, works really well for me. As far as um, the, I'm just doing basic back stitch on all of this. So I'm not going to talk too much about what I'm doing, but you can also watch as, um, as we do, as she creates also, but i actually did the wrong color there, but, um, I'm just, you know, you can keep these very simple by just doing the outline stitching only. You can also leave it unstitched and put colored cardstock to show through the holes. I just, I enjoy these. And I'm telling you, if you've never tried stitching on paper, there is nothing more therapeutic. And my son is pitching in the, his first like real baseball game of the season this year, tonight. And I, I have oh my, my stitching ready to go to keep me sane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you get really nervous? I can't even imagine. Like oh, there is something about when your kid is pitching because everybody is looking at him, you know, and yeah. if it's not going well, it's on him. If it's going well, it's on it. And he's so calm out there and very chill and i i i am not <laughs> oh i would be a, i would be a wreck i'm like nervous for my 3 year old soccer class like i can't even imagine it's, like it is intense and intense i i don't know i don't know it must, it must so, be exciting to see him do his thing cuz i know i mean i over the years just seeing um colin doing all his baseball stuff over the years it's so exciting that like he's pitching and in high school it's so cool oh it is it is and we well, let let's just face it. We're not exactly an athletic family to say to say the least. So <laughs> any any talent that he has out there is from hard work, which I think makes it even better um, th to know that he just worked his his tail off to be able to to be able to do do what he does. So oh, I it's love fun. That. But the season keeps getting. We've had scrimmages, but we just this is our first game. The games. We've had a, a rough season so far, so the games keep getting pushed back. But tonight, tonight we're starting. So anyway, okay, so what do you got going on over there? Are you putting some veggies so, together? Yes, yeah, so now I'm putting some veggies together. And this is the part, like, so for me, like, crafting, it just makes me smile. And there's something about once you put the little tops on these veggies, like, I, I'm assuming everyone else is smiling too. I just think it's so cute. Um, they're just adorable. And, like, they just look amazing just with that one color of ink, you know? Um, and so what I'm doing to help myself add the veggies, you'll see, so like the tomato and the onion, you just layer it either behind or on top. But on these other ones, we actually designed the die to have, see that little, it's a little cut line. And so sometimes I'll even take my ah. pokey tool and just kind of open that up a little bit so that it's really easy to then, um, for example, take this little leaf and tuck it right in. And that's what makes these look so cute is the, the leaf tucked in like that, I think is what makes it feel really special. Oh. Um, and so the little cut line just makes it so cool. And so all I do then is I just add a little drop of glue to the end and then I can just tuck that right in. Nice. And it'll pull just like that. Folks are saying they're craving craving a salad now. Yeah, right? Well, you know, you've got your veggie. And the other thing you can do, too, is if you don't want to deal with, like, adding glue or anything, you can even take a piece of washi tape and just put that on the back because no one's ever going to see that part. No. And you could just hold no. it like that, too. So that's another way you can add those 
those guys ah. on. So I can do that with the carrot too. You can just go in there. You don't really have to do this part, but I like to to make sure it's easier to these, add my leaf. These are the things I love about your dyes, the, the well thought out things like that, that I, uh, that make things kind of stepped up for us, but easy for us to do. And I, I appreciate that so much. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, we're always trying to make it, we want crafting to be fun and a happy, joyful experience. So we're trying to think of all these little things that make it easier. We run so many samples, so many things. We're always going back and refixing and, oh, we should add this, we should add that. Our interactive dies, we go back in and we add 30 seconds of an inch to something so that it folds over perfectly. And we're constantly yep. kind of playing around with things so that they just everything works perfect. <laughs> well, and your interactive dies, because you know, I, I, I have a little bit of a little bit of an engineer still in me and your yes. interactive <laughs> dies. Whenever you send me a text with an example of a card and you pull it or push it or do whatever, and it does its thing, like you're telling, letting me know that this new product <laughs> is coming out. I always am just blown away. Like the give it a whirl that just, I, you, you guys include everything <laughs> to make it in so many different ways. Like here I made, this is that give it a whirl die that you were showing, there you go. And I used it, this is all to new. This is an all to new oh flower. God. Just to show you that interactive dies, you know, she's got these adorable images that work great with it, but you can also use it with other styles too. Um, and that's one of the things I really like about your interactive dies. Yes, you could use it with any of the stamps in your stash. I mean, look at that all to new flower. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it is. I just wanted just to so show fun. that it could be completely different. Completely. I mean, those are the same interactive feature on the two cards we're showing, and they're just completely different. It's oh, so cool. Then this one is one where it's got like a fun. I like that they're both kind of like uh, the black with the color, but they're a totally yeah. different kind of thing. So this one is like kind of a. My thought is it's kind of a little mouse looking through the telescope and this is what he sees, you know, up in the sky. It's so cute. <coughs> Look at so that. Fun. I could just, I just do this sometimes. Like if you just need like some relaxing time, you just watch yourself go like this. <laughs> it's like hypnotizing. Yeah, yeah it's true. <coughs> and with um, oh, interactive die sets, it's good to, to work the paper a little bit. So you can play with it before you send it out. Look at that. <laughs> yes. So here's these little veggies with the smiles on the inside. And this is actually that flower garden backdrop. I just trimmed off the tall flowers to make it more of like a garden instead of a flower garden. Oh. Um, and then and then I just stamped the sentiment on the outside. So these can be really simple because you can just have your little sentiment on there and then you can have your veggies, which is so cute. Is not I know it's hard to do them on camera. Here, I'll show you this. So the... I, I believe giving die cuts haircuts is one of the best ways to stretch your supplies. Like you just gave your, that frame a haircut to make yes, the flowers not I as tall or the leaves. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm going to call it's always it a, a haircut. good thing to do. So this yep, one's really cute. This one has this, we have this whole veggie theme with this release. So this is our veggie happy stamp set. And so you've got like the little plant on the outside and then here's like oh. everything that they've been gardening. <laughs> and those little phrases too, kind of filling in. I thought the sky was a little bit plain at the top. So then I stamped the little tiny See? phrases in there. Yeah. The little phrases are always good. <laughs> I saw somebody ask how I um, thread my needle so quick. There are needle threaders, but I can never find mine. So what I do is I just take it right in the middle somewhere and loop it over. So I've got this little loop here. See the loop of the thread? And I pinch my fingers around it. So there's a tiny little loop sticking out. And I take the eye of the needle and just press it down over. Kind of wiggle it down and then pull one end through. And that's how I thread. You know, once you do it enough, it just... It becomes old habit. Yeah. I, I'm going to say, I'm going to rewatch this part of that video about 20 times and I'm going to practice that. <laughs> well, if, if Shari's still in the comments, Shari's seen me stitching on a boat. So <laughs> I, I stitch just about anywhere. And if you can thread needle on a boat, I, you can, anybody can get the hang of it after a bit. So <laughs> I know, I'm going to have to start. Through. Although I will say that I think for me, coloring is like what, what stitching is for you, then coloring for sure. is for you. It's that like relaxing, you know, I got this kind yep. of thing. You know, a lot of people that coloring is relaxing. Coloring your images is relaxing for me because it, they're not hard to color. When yeah, it's they're, big. They're tiny. Yeah. Yeah. I, 
I can color little critters, but or little flower, little things, but big, the big stuff, man, no, no, I, 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 I can't do, it. I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm everything we secure. have is tiny, so I like my tiny, my tiny yep. things. And what I like about that is you can even just do one marker, and it's great, or two markers, and it, it's yes. just, it looks gorgeous. Yes. Yep. And Jen Shirkus, who works with Lawn Fawn all the time, man, watching her color Lawn Fawn images, it's unbelievable how she can get so much shading and highlighting on those small images. She is good. She is oh, so she's good. Amazing. And if you guys, we do these, um, these free live classes called create with us and Jen Shirkus and I do them and we always go over coloring and we have these free coloring guides as well. So they kind of step you through the coloring of them and we do it together in the live as well. And you can print out those coloring guides and even put them with your stamp set and they tell you kind of where to put your, we, we say which colors we use, but it could be markers, color pencil, anything. It just tells you where to put like the little highlight, like the darker marker and then the lighter marker. And when you see Jen's way of doing it, it makes it so simple. It's amazing. And where do you find those? So I think we'll have we'll have Shari link that in the comments. Okay. We have a Create With okay. Us page on our website. And what's great about the okay. Create With Us page is it has all of them we've ever done. So you could watch the replays and you can download the PDF for every single one. And then we have one that's coming up on April 19th, I believe. I'm looking at our calendar. Yes, April yep, 19th. April 19th. We're actually gonna use these veggies. I didn't even think about that. That's perfect. <laughs> there you um, go. So, Jen is such yeah. a good teacher. She is great. Oh She's the best. Oh my goodness. Jen and I, that's how we first met. We did um, one of those, old, the old Colin shows up in yes. the ones in Boston. And she was like, Hey, yep. you should really be doing these with Lawn Fawn. I'll, I'll do it with you. I said, okay, we'd never met before. And she picked me up at the Boston airport and that's the first time we met in person. <laughs> oh, there you go, man. We used to have a lot of fun at those shows back in the day. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right. So oh. um, yeah, so it was great. So we started doing all these shows together, which is awesome. Wonderful. So they'll put the comments for those classes because I do recommend Jen's classes. I often put them on my like crafty news page. Her classes are always do are always well accepted and everybody likes them. And she does a lot of lawn fun, great stuff with lawn fun. So oh, yeah. um, I if, highly if recommend you, that. Yeah. And if you've ever wanted to, um, you know, color or learn how to color more easily or coloring can be intimidating for you it, it you'll have so much fun plus we, we just have a blast at, at our create with us so and i always create along with jen which is amazing because i get to take jen's class too which feels so lucky uh, well she she makes me more confident with my coloring i when i watch her because i've seen her teach in like um the scrapbook and cards today kind of thing you know i've seen oh, yeah. her teach so many times man she just makes it so chill. That's exactly. the way, it, Jen that's is, my way to color. <laughs> Jen, Jen keeps me calm. She always makes yeah. me feel everything's all good. <laughs> we, we all need a Jen in our life. <laughs> yes. That's for Mine's sure. Christina. Christina Werner is my, my cal the calm to my storm. <laughs> <laughs> Christina has the best like vibes ever. <laughs> she does. She does. All right. Um, so uh, you can use as many strands. I see questions. I'm using, I, this is a six strand floss. <clears throat> I took out four strands and I'm stitching with four, but you could do six if you want to. And if you want to try stitching like these embroidery ones, I mentioned at the beginning, this is the basic set here and it gives you the solid circle or the heart. And it also cuts the hoop that we can add to any of the add-ons. So, and I'm, what I'm stitching with today is the flower add-on, but remember Lawn Fawn, I have linked below, Lawn Fawn has a bunch of free patterns that you can do stitching on here. And they also have a DMC, like the floss starter pack. It's like all the good rainbow colors and some needles. And that's linked below too. If you want to like give this a whirl, you could do a beautiful <laughs> with the, with the rain. Oh, yeah, there you go. No pun. Sorry. Intended. I like but if, <laughs> that's a good pun. If you um, wanted to do like a rainbow heart, the the pa pack of floss that they that is linked below has a bunch of rainbow colors that would work work great for that so that's what i'm using over here so what did you do you did a little heat so embossing there i did and this was with our thanks 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 stamp set which is an older set but it's like the it's yes. got every thank you that you could ever want in there and you'll see my i will see how this goes i'm going to heat emboss and see i had a little missing spot there but we'll we'll see how it goes but i think i'm gonna make noise one second <laughs> that's okay Let's go see. for it 
Yeah. Go for it. So that thanks set that she used for that, I have made so many teacher cards using that thanks set. I think I saw like Shari had done a teacher card that was looked kind of um, bulletin board like, and I did a bunch that way. Uh, Susan, I saw Susan, you were asking about the best place to buy floss. If you want a starter pack, I recommend um, the, the Lawn Fawn starter pack. If you want more, I know Spellbinders has some, some DMC packs that are great color variety, but I, I personally, I go to their, the DMC website and I place orders there a lot. Um, big box stores used to have them. I don't know if they still do, but check, you know, you want to know what the best thing to do is. And if you want to be the happiest person in the world, do this. Look and see if there is a stitching store near you or embroidery shop near you and go in there because it'll be hanging on the wall in all of its rainbow glory and you'll go crazy. You'll just, <laughs> it's like heaven. You got to, got to go to one. So, and it's a good way to support a small business, but I'm telling you that that's a fun thing to do to check out one of those stores. So I just did a all tip right. that I learned from you way back in the day. And that's if your heat embossing gets a little bit as I went funky, I just yep. took my wet gel pen out and, um, and filled in the lines and it, and it looks great now. Just, I had one little missed spot. I didn't press down hard enough. And, well, um, and so it's such a good tip. Well, I'll tell you, um, I forgot to warn you ahead of time. Generally, many things that you do live go funky. It's just something about <laughs> being live. It just happens. So yeah, I, I, I've, uh, you know, it happens. It happens when everybody's watching. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> my gel pen to the rescue, right? Uh, yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. And then now I'm going to do, um, so I want to make this kind of feel like a chalkboard and this is really cute for teacher cards. Like you just mentioned, yes. and what I do is I take out, this is Yeti pigment ink, which is a white pigment ink, but you know, we had to name it something cute. So I love Yeti. Of course. And, um, and so what I'm going to do is take ink on my finger. And then I'm just, I have some tissues here. I'm just going to take off some, and then I'm just going to like kind of smear it up here. See, and it's going to start uh... to give it like that, like chalkboard look. And the nice thing about this is you can't really mess it up because it, it's chalk, right? So it kind of gives that like dirty chalkboard feel, which I think brilliant. is really fun. And I'm going to go over this the is, letters. Now. This is brilliant because when I did it, I tried to do it with a white pencil and it was not easy. Oh yeah. Look that's, at that. I, yeah. You just, it's just like finger painting, just kind of, yes. you know, and you can always add a little bit more later. You can even come in and like kind of buff it out too, like with a little tissue or paper towel. It looks like a chalkboard. Kinda... Isn't that cute? <laughs> and oh. then so now I'm going to take one of those, remember how we talked about the stitch rectangle frames earlier that fit the, um, yeah. We're gonna. I'm gonna take one of these that I've die cut out of some brown cardstock, and when I when I, so when I ink like so I've inked all my veggies right, and if I've inked my cardstock, I feel like I have to ink all the cardstocks. Do you feel like that? Like, then this oh, yeah. one looks yeah. this one looks naked. It needs some no. It needs some naked. no naked. <laughs> hey, it, no okay, naked listen. Cardstock. If your veggies are wearing toupees, your frame <laughs> needs a little ink. Needs a some pants, ink. maybe. <laughs> exactly right. I mean, we could we could give these veggies faces, so you know. We could, uh, we could. So I'm just going around That's the edges awesome. to give it that. And this one I use. So this one I use the texture side because then it's going to make it look like wood when you go over it with your ink because it picks up the texture. Ah, and, and is that the same textured paper that you use for your same. veggies? Okay. Yep, and this is our browns of it. So I tried okay. to kind of stay all in that same that same world. But um, now this, the, the, on the veggies, I had the smooth side. Now on this guy, I've got the textured side to give it that wood kind of look. I love it. I love it. And I am, I am currently stitching with one of my two favorite lawn fawn colors of cardstock. Can you guess what the color cardstock this is? Is that blue jay? Yes. <laughs> I love blue jay. I love blue jay because it's such a, um, it's like a, Royal Navy. I don't know. There's just, I don't know. It, it's just a, the perfect, perfect Navy. I, 
I, look oh, at this. I'm I so went just, just the right it. amount. Yeah, Blue Jay is one of my it. favorites. I had to name it Blue Jay because when I was a kid, I lived in Canada, and my second grade teacher loved the Blue Jays so much. We learned all of our math with Blue Jays. Ah. And if you read a certain amount of books, you got to go to a game with her. And so the Blue Jays became my favorite. And when I moved, ah. she even crocheted me a Blue Jays sweater, which I can't wait till my son to be old enough to wear it. And um, so I was always a Blue Jays fan, so I thought it would be a cute. Nice, nice. Well, I, so my other color, my most used color besides, Blue Jay is probably hand in hand with your fog. I love the fog. Do you still have the fog? Because I bought it in Yes, yeah. we have fog, okay, which is like a nice light gray. And then we also have dolphin, which is like a light warmer gray. We could even, Rebecca could grab those dolphin, and I can show yes. those. Yeah, because they're really, a really nice, like when white isn't quite right, we have, and then speckled eggshell is our other one. That, like it's kind of like, that's kind yeah. of a creamish yeah. color, and it's very light, though, so it just gives you that little. Oh yeah, you've got the fog and the dolphin. Oh. Okay. So this is no, this is this is white, and this is oh, that's um, white. fog. And the reason I like fog is because it's not too warm, too warm. It's not too cool. It's just a nice, the the perfect light gray. I use it quite often. I have it in bulk over on the side. Oh, what's that? Oh, is yay. that dolphin in the middle there? That's dolphin in the middle. So if you okay. needed that like warmery color, that would be the dolphin one. But fog is my favorite too. Um, it is perfect. It reminds me of that line from Miss Congeniality where she asked, they ask her about her, her, uh, the perfect date. And instead of saying like a date that someone would take her on, she says, oh. the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. <laughs> That's a great it's movie. Funny. It's one of those when I see it on TV, I just turn it on. <coughs> yep. Yep. Yes. Uh, okay. Nicole said she bought fog because I, I talk about that quite a bit in, in videos. It's a great neutral, especially like sometimes, like, for example, on the back of one of these, like if, if I put a stitched element in the center of a card, you could cut this from white cardstock and then put fog behind it so that the hearts will just be a the light fog so you'll see them they'll stand out a bit more so it's nice to add just like a little oomph to white uh, so i i use it quite often i love that idea and i got like, tangled that, here tone on tone on tone and i'm trying to fit fit, fit my veggies i'm glad rebecca, rebecca reminded me i had glue on my frame but the veggies go under the frame so uh, I, I almost i almost had an oops but well the, Again, things go funky when we go live. That's what happens. Yes. And this is how this is how I usually separate my my threads. I cut a long piece and I to separate apply, I just take one and I just slowly pull and pinch the rest. And that usually will will work just fine without knotting up. And that way I can pull them apart. I like to pull the ply apart before I stitch no matter how many plies because I find it gives better looking stitches. I don't know. I don't, whether anybody else would notice that, I have no idea, but, but you know, sometimes it's, we do the detail things just for our own amusement, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do that all it's, the time. Everything. I, I always have like little things. And I'm like, gosh, why am I doing this? But it makes me happy. So I do it. Yep. Half of the process, half of card making is, you know, the joy that we get from it. And half of it is the joy the recipient gets. And I think some of those details are probably things only we would notice, but, but that, you know, it gives us more joy to share what we really put a lot of time into. Oh, and yeah. this, I have to talk about your algae color. Cause this is one of your new colors Yes, and it is a wonderful green. Isn't it Love so this pretty? color. Yep. It's yep, just I'm... like, it's such a good spring green. And um, I actually named those, my grandmother was a marine biologist and she got her PhD oh. in 1950. And so I named oh the two gosh. new car stocks, algae and tide pool in honor of her. Um, she ran the aquarium in Cuba. Um, so she has really cool stories of it. She had, she actually, and she had an actual octopus, op, I can't say the word, octopus. octopus friend and everything. No way. So, you yeah. have the most interesting family. Your family is so has yeah. done so many wonderful things. I just, it's crazy. Cause your brother does movie stuff. You've yes. got this amazing business. It's just crazy. 
Oh gosh. Yeah. It, I, I just feel lucky that I get to do what I love every day. Um, I love when you write down that like you, you glue paper for a living. Like I feel the same way. Like uh -huh. if my 10 year old self knew that sometimes I color at work, like, yeah. oh my gosh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the dream. It's I true. It. I feel so, it's true. so lucky. Cause that's, you know, I was always, I was always create making something. Um, but I, I never, I don't think I ever would have guessed that I'd be, cause I was a math nerd. So I, I thought that that's where I would end up, you know, and that's where I went through to school for, but you know, now I look back, like I was always try, trying to start little businesses, making things. And so I can kind of see it now that that's where I, don't know, I would end up yeah. but, but at the well, time. Yeah. Well, you, you and I are, are so similar because, um, I am also a math nerd and yes, you are biochemist, biochemistry. Um, and honestly, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Look what Rebecca wants me to show me because I'm such a nerd. This was from when I was a mathlete. Um, and that's still <laughs> my ruler I use now. <laughs> I am such a nerd. <laughs> and I use it as my ruler every day. <laughs> I love it. And look how good this thing has really held up over here. <laughs> An olive garden. Of all of they, I remember we were so pumped because we got free Olive Garden at the math competition. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Every once in a while, I'll break out my old my old graphing calculator from college, which was the first like one they had, and it was really really expensive because they were like a new thing. Right. And I remember it was like a big deal that we had to invest in this graphing calculator. I still have it. Was uh, it the TI 85? Because I still have mine and no, the, I was like the, so proud to have it. I think this mine was, an, I think mine was the HP. I think it was an oh. HP, but I think I'm older than you though. So that might explain it. And yeah, <laughs> Mike, when Mike went to engineering school, they didn't have graphing calculators. <laughs> I can say that to him because he's here. Oh, there's some biochemists in the, um, in the comments oh, here. Oh, nice. Yes. I double so, majored in music and biochemistry. So now I make carts. Yep. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. So, um, somebody said they tried the code and it wasn't working. Can, has anybody been able to try make it work? We will. We're having someone test it right now. Okay. Okay. And then uh, I. Some of those uh, old calculators are worth a lot of money on eBay now. It's crazy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I just lost my what? signal. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, something you hit. It looks like something loosened. Did Hang you on. Something? I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll fix you. will fix that. I'm, I'll switch to my face really quick and then we'll fix. Um, That's fine. We'll fix whatever happened. Hey, this happens all the time. All right. Let's see. We're trying to re plug in here. Let's see. We'll, try well here, while they figure that out, I will go ahead and switch here. Yeah. So you can see. Oh. So I'm doing. I'm doing multiple color stitching. I'm telling you the easiest way to do this would be to do one color for all of the, the stitching on the petals. But what I'm doing is three shades. So you can see I first went through and did just light, light color stitching on the tips of the flowers. Now I'm doing like a medium blue uh, thread for more of the flower. And then I'll go back and finish the petal with an even darker blue. So it's a way to kind of step it up, but you definitely could keep this very simple by just doing one thread for or one color for all of those. Um, and let me show you. So here, I'm going to put one together while she's figuring it out. Hey, this stuff happens. There was a time I went live with Greg from Concord and ninth and I disappeared and he was on my channel all by himself. <laughs> so this stuff happens. It's okay. So I thought I'd show you how, how to put one of these together. So this one, okay. I, I, I did the and stitching off, offline. Is she back? No, nope. I don't think so. Um, I did the stitching offline. So I did light pink for the center stitches and then dark pink for the outline. And all of this is just a basic kind of back stitch. I do my back stitch a little bit different than some other people do, I, at least when I stitch on paper, because I feel like it gives better results. Um, Mike, can you 
pull, put in the comments my most recent, um, oh, hold on. That's Kelly coming back. There she is. Believe this, but I think my camera, like, Bye -bye. like, are, like Bye -bye. it's done. <laughs> like it quit for the, for... but I've got a phone, so everything's good. I mean, okay. Well, you were yeah. almost done with your card too, weren't yeah, you? I was. Yeah, I could always hold things up too, but I know, isn't that funny? Like it's, I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, you know what? Why don't you just hold it up? Because that yeah. is easier than trying to fluster with it. So here, I'm going to put, how do I put her on full screen? Okay, look at that. So how did you, so, what did you finish off on there? So what I ended up doing, well, I added all my veggies on and then I put the little frame. And so it not only has like a chalkboard feel, but it also kind of feels like, um, like one of those like classic farmer's market signs. And I'm recreating a card by Yainea from our design team. Um, when I saw this card, I was like, She's it's so, so beautiful. Like I thought it would be so fun. Yainea is amazing. And then for the sentiment on the bottom, I used the um this veg brand new veggie happy stamp set which has our cute little mice gardening um which is really really fun and it's got all these fun veggie sentiments so i just use the so veggie much but i combine that with the thanks so that it the thanks i think had that chalkboard feel to it i love it i love it and you could you could add the faces to it to make it the veggies a little more playful or you could add the little mice on it but I, how it is, it, it, a completely different feel. I love it. Exactly. So I like that you could play around with it. And I'll show you the, um, I think, uh, Rebecca, you had some extra dyes, right? Um, yes. Oh, the, the extra die cut veggies. Right so here. I'll show you how to use. So the die set comes with the little veggie faces. And um, here, I'll do the onion because I think he's cute. And so the little die cut veggies, you can see right there, it's this little Aww. face. And so you just layer it over top and I'll get some low tack tape here. Okay. This one. I had to get my, I had to get my, my readers on. Okay. Serious, serious <laughs> crafting business. Welcome to my world. Hey, it's the, it's the nerd in us, right? Yeah. It's not right? that we're getting old. It's that we're nerds it's, and we yeah, need our glasses. Exactly. My, my body was like, oh, you did, uh, you did LASIK. Now you can wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we did check the code and it is working, but if anyone's having any trouble, they can write info at lawnfawn.com and we'll just apply it to your order for you. Yeah, I saw some and people then, say it was working. Yeah. Okay. So there you can, you can layer them like that. Rebecca, how have you run that through the die cut machine? And so she's going to run that through. And can we talk about how cute your office is too? My goodness. Oh, thank you. I know we, we cleaned up for you guys, uh, but we do oh, have partially. I will yeah. say, so this, these right here are um, 10 years of Lawn Fawn papers oh, cut neat. into little squares. My friend Deb made these and put into frames. So if you ever need to decorate in your office, get your scraps. These are Ikea frames and you can just cut them down into like two inch squares, one inch squares, and you get that cute kind of quilt look to it. That is so smart. A great way to use up those scraps. And then this is my little Aww. onion. And then what you can do is just take your scissors and trim a little piece of black cardstock to layer behind. The other thing you can do is cut the face out and then layer the little like smiley face pieces on top. And that's another cute look too. So you would layer it behind. So I'm just gonna add some tape. Did you have some of the greenery too, Rebecca? Um, yeah, I do have everything. Um, here's, here's your onion, onion greens. Okay, and then I got some extra adhesive on here. I love this adhesive eraser. I always get extra. I adhesive, adhesive eraser and this little sanding thing, sanding, paper sanding block. Oh yeah. They, they save me all the time. <laughs> and then now I can add my onion greens. There's something about the winking onion. I just can't. It's so cute. <laughs> we all need winking onions. Look at that. Right? Oh, you could like do a custom sentiment and like you little stinker or something. <laughs> <laughs> and so you could do this exact same card, but with the smiley faces. Ah, and it changes it just makes it like, right? more playful. Yeah, exactly. That's so awesome. I like that you can kind of you know, change it up depending. And there you can see the difference between like the plain car sock, which is gorgeous, or the little bit of the ink on the side. So you know what I'm gonna do? Um, 
the what I we always give my like the principals and the like nurses and counselors at my daughter's school at the end of the year, we give a gift certificate to our local, um, like our, lo our local market because they do a lot to support the school. So it's nice to support them back. And I can do a little market card for the oh, gift card. How cute would that be? So, thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah. how cute would that be? We actually have a really cute card too. Where, I had that one. I have that right here. This is another card um, by Grace from our team. It's just a picture of it. But oh, she used our tote, our tote bag die, and you can tuck a gift oh. card into it. Instead of making a tote bag, she glued it to the front to create that like um, kind of really cute uh, market bag look. So this is And you could tuck adorable. a gift card in there. Yeah, and this is one where she layered the little die-cut eyes on top, which I think looks really cute too. Oh, that's cute. Oh, so cute. I love it. And I just, all I did here was I put together a hoop, a little embroidery hoop. So this one I had done the stitching on and um, using the flower add-on. And then this is the original embroidery hoop die set that Long came, Lon Fong came out with for a long, a long time ago. Remember this circle one, they have lots of free patterns on their website. Um, but this die here cuts the hoop that I glued on here. So I did the hoop from white and the little thingy, I don't know, whatever that is up there in silver. What do you call that? A pin? I don't know. I'm not pin. an expert. It's a screw. I mean, a I screw? use a screw. Okay. Yeah. So and it's a screw. Have, there you go. And we do have a die coming out in, um, in, this will be for our, our summer release in May, but it's going to take this embroidery hoop and kind of make it so that you can integrate it into your card in a different way. So I'm excited oh, about that. <laughs> I can't wait to get that text. <laughs> I know that was, yeah. And this was, this was Shari's idea. So it is. Really oh, good. Cool. Shari, she's a smart cookie, man. She's good at all really this did. stuff. So I thought, do you have time to stay a little bit longer? Oh, oh look, I'll go to turn up. I'll, yes, I'll finish mine. White, white gel pen lines to it. Oh, smart. So I always forget to do that, but it's always, it's always adds such fun detail. Yeah, right, so especially is... to little, like if you want little shine marks or also um, like on all the cute critters, if you add the little white gel pen line, they just look like little, like little three-dimensional cartoons. They're so cute. Adorable. That's a great card. <laughs> <clears throat> so I didn't really show the stitching because I've done so many stitching videos. So be sure to check out one of my previous videos if you want to see how um, how to do the stitching. But really, you could do this all with one color and have a really great flower. Uh, here I did lighter, medium, and dark. But on, and that's what I did like on this one here. I did light, medium, and dark just to give it some dimension. But this one, I did light for all the inside and dark on the outside edges. And this you can, once you get going, these don't take long at all. So like I have a bunch of hearts cut and some of the rainbow ones too that Lawn Fawn has. And this is what's going with me to baseball tonight. Um, but <laughs> let me show you something fun. And I also, I don't know about you, but I have tons and tons of buttons. And I think I'm going to put buttons at the center of these. I just feel like it adds to that um, handmade feel, or you could do like a fun, like zigzaggy stitch in there. But I, I think love I'm gonna- the let me, button. Yeah, I, you know, I think what I like about, um, about stitching on cards, it's therapeutic, right? But I feel like it adds to that handmade feel. It makes it even more handmade-ish, you know what I mean? Yes. And so that's one of the reasons I like to do it. Now I'm gonna do a fun fold for this. This is a really basic fun fold, but you take two pieces of cardstock. It's just, I'm sorry, it's one sheet of cardstock cut in half. So there's two pieces that are eight and a half, by five and a half. And this is the new tide pool color, which all the world should be painted in. Just, <laughs> just put that out there. I bet Jen Shirkus would agree with me, right? Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to score this in half at four and a quarter. And I'm also going to score it at two and an eighth, which is just one groove to the right of two. So I have a score line here and a score line here, and I'll do the same thing to the other. So four and a quarter, and then at two and an eighth. 
And we're going to do a little zigzag fold on these. So fold over and then fold back. And I'll do the same thing to the other. I just, I had made so many cards with this little embroidery hoop right at the center. In fact, I've got a video, um, a video linked below where I show like how I did the hearts and the rainbows, uh, other options for the stitching. It's linked below. So you can see how to do stitching in that video or learn much more. But in all of my cards, I would just put this right in the center and I'd put a little thin sentiment on it or below it. I often would use one of your great backdrops behind it. But I thought it'd be fun if we did a different, a little fun, different opening. So both of these pieces are the exact same here. So we folded them the same way. I'm gonna flip one over. So now they just zigzag an opposite way and then you just slide them together and you've got a fun, fun <laughs> opening. Now you'll notice that there's a little gap there. The way to get rid of the gap is to just cut a little bit off of one big flap. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off of this. Give it, a, give it a haircut, like you said earlier. Yep. <laughs> Gotta give it a haircut. And then put some glue in here. I, how do I run out of room? I haven't even been doing anything. You've been doing the hard work and I'm running out of room here. Oh, it got, it got chaotic oh. in here. <laughs> <laughs> so now these just kind of fit into each other. And now we have like a fun, just a different fold, something different, right? So we've done, I've done this kind of fold many, many times in videos. And what I do like to do because when you stand it up, you'll be able to see inside. I do like to take a little note card. This is just cut a little bit smaller than the card itself. So this is cut to four by five and a quarter. And I glue that right here on the inside so that when the card is standing up, you don't see that personal message that will be in here. And I'll probably stamp a sentiment on here. But first, I have a background here that I created with your um, ripple. Yeah, Where the ripple backdrop. Now I gotta find it though. Oh, yeah, vey. <laughs> it's somewhere we here, can, but it does we'll this faux it. stitching. See the faux stitching? And I just feel like, I mean, you can use that for ocean, but I also feel like it works great for a stitching card. So I die cut that from Tide Pool and it makes a piece, it cuts it automatically to be the right size. All I did was cut it in half down the center. So I could add one panel onto this part and the other over here. So you could do pattern paper here, any of the backdrops. I just went for this one that looks kind of like faux stitching and see how it just adds a little bit of interest to that background. It's All so right? pretty. And then we'll glue, we're gonna glue this on to the front here, but I only want glue on the back half. So just on this half over here. And then glue that down. I'm gonna put something heavy on it while it dries. And this will give us a fun opening because only one side has the little hoop on it. So I'm gonna put something heavy on that. Now as for a sentiment, I'm gonna probably add the sentiment off screen, but I was gonna show you the two sentiment sets that I really like for my stitching cards. So there is the So Very Mice, and it's all these adorable little mice and sewing kind of images, but the sentiment, you are so amazing. It's hard to see there, it's S-E-W. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I love you so much, thanks so much. I like how there's different sentiments you can put together here. And that one, I will probably stamp right there so that when you open it, you see that there. Let me put something on here just to keep this dry. The other thing that uh, I really like is this. Um, it, it's been used a lot, so it's inky. It's hard to tell, but there's, I'm so thankful for you, which you could stamp on a little circle and add at the center of their flower, or you're so amazing on a strip. Those are the ones that I use for most, most of my stitching cards, whether these are other stitching cards because they work perfect for it. So now this is how the card opens and then there's a personal message inside. So you can keep the card very basic after you've done your stitching because that has, you know, all the, and you want the focus to stay on the stitching and I'll probably add a button on there and I might not even add a sentiment to the front. I might leave it without and do the, you're so, um, you are so amazing, this one on the inside. 
I like I that. Isn't that fun? In uh, your tide pool. Mm. I'm so glad you like it. I, I love, love the it. card, like how you made the card fold on the, like it actually be an opening on the inside so that the message is, is yeah. hidden, you know? I think that's so pretty. That's so and you pretty. could also, you can also take like another circle die cut with a sentiment stamped on it and glue it to this half. So it's behind this when it's closed, but when it stands up, you'll see a little sentiment over here too. So that's another thing that you could do with that fold, but it's a great basic fold for just making a, you know, simple design, just have a little bit more. So I've been doing a lot of, um, this is my messy stitching. I had an ear infection this weekend, so I sat on the sofa and I did stitching. I, here's the heart, I did heart Oh, there. that's so pretty. I like the different colors. Yep, and that's the same colors I did on the, on the flower. It's fun to do, while you have the floss, the, the threads picked out, might as well do a few of the different versions. So that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> And then I saw that we had a question, someone asking where you find the faces. They actually come in the die set. So like the stitch root veggies in this, and they all have different faces. So like you get different faces between each set, but those little die cut faces are actually included, but they're separate so that you can do what we did here, which was like a plain one or then like your cute smiley one. I know we had a real part of that somewhere, but um, your cute little smiley one here, which is really fun. Oh, you can't hear me? Oh, I can't hear you. Oh, that was me. That was me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, I told you I'd do it. I muted it to cough. We were holding our memory. And... <laughs> I muted it to cough. Yeah, my brother's making fun of me. I didn't want everybody to hear me cough, and that, that's, I messed up. <laughs> oh, yeah, so here is them with the faces, and then them without. Oops. So you could use those faces though, like on a flower die cut or on a heart mm -hmm. die cut and just make kind of change the feel for something. Yes. And then we have a lot of little smiley faces that you could stamp included in stamp sets as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, depending on if you wanted like a stamped look on each of those, you could like kind of shop your stash for the little smileys because we've got I them even... all over. Look at the little one there for this little flower that you can put in the drawer. <laughs> it's just so cute. <laughs> Look at, he's got a thimble on his head. It's so cute. I bet you I mean, never knew you needed a stamp with, of a mouse with a thimble on its head. But it's adorable. <laughs> uh, and I, I thought I'd mention, this is the other one, background die that I use often for stitching. You can take your little hoop that you make and put it right at the center and cover that heart up. I actually, I use this one and I've actually, I haven't even cut these out because I'm covering that. I might as well cut a bunch of little hearts and I keep them in a dish <laughs> that I can use as accents. But it's fun to kind of, you can really put anything there, but a, to kind of pull attention to that center. What's that? It's just a dish full of little accents. Cause like we have oh, little, yes. we include little dies and we have ones that make sequins. So like I just put them all in here. And then there's other die cut pieces because my son will be in here soon to take mm -hmm. die cut pieces and make his cards, so. <laughs> I, yeah, well, I, I know how that works, but her favorite, <laughs> Lila's favorite things to use and her go-to here. In fact, the stencil set is sitting by the sink right outside because she uses it so much is your layering stencil. She loves the layering stencils that you have. That's, that's her, her thing, her thing. She loves them. You made so. my day. They're, they're fun. It, <laughs> they, well, they're great because they're, not intimidating and they're like they're just if you can just line up the corners it's fail, yes. foolproof you know and so you can get a bunch done so the other day she had her friend over and um out came the lawn fawn layering stencils and that's how she taught her how to make a card <laughs> oh i love that i love that she's teaching her friends that's awesome hey we need young addicts in this <laughs> hobby in this hobby yes I mean. yes somebody somebody asked how old your son is so he is almost four. He'll be four at the end of May, which I can't even believe already. But yeah, so, and he is like an avid crafter now. He makes his scenes. His very favorite stamp set is the veggie happy one, is this one. And I actually tell him a bedtime story that is these mice, 
planting their veggies because <laughs> oh. so, he loves it so much. I even bought him little veggie pajamas. So he makes all of these cards um, using the veggies. And if any of you have ever read Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, which actually you gave to Miles and he is yes. deeply obsessed with it. He makes Chicka Chicka Boom Boom veggies and he has the veggies fall off the tree. So I could recite that whole book right now. If, um, yeah, he started reciting needed. it at the park once and a bunch of other little kids were just reciting it with him. Like it's just, it's the book. And the cool thing about that book is you can read it to different tunes and it works. Yes. So you can like, to the alphabet song, you can read chick and it works. It's just crazy. It's crazy. It's, um, yeah, it's so great. They said you need to do a kid's book. So, um, okay. <laughs> I, one thing I saw somebody asked before I forget, somebody asked what I put on the back here because the back always looks bad. I, I don't, there, no ward has ever been won for having the prettiest <laughs> back to stitching. It's just not necessary. So I just took a circle die and cut it from cardstock and glued that on the back so that you don't see the back. And I don't know, even know what size this is. This is, it looks like it's about close to two and a half, two and a half inches. Uh, you know, anything around that size would work work well. Here, this is for Lila. Lila's best friend is FaceTiming her right now <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> so uh, do we have any other questions out there that you saw? Oh, what's that? Oh yeah. I just wanted to show the little mice then with like the die cut tomatoes. This is a card by Shari, which is so cute. Or like we put the little carrot. So you can, I like, I just wanted to show the idea of die, combining die cuts with stamps. Yeah. Sometimes I fall into that where I'm like, oh, I'm using die cuts. That's what I'm doing. Or I'm using stamps. That's what I'm doing. But I thought these were Me. such a cute way to show that you can really combine them together. Or, of course, do cute little die cut cards like this. But I thought this was really, really fun with the little tomatoes and then the little carrot card guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw somebody bring up Veggie Tales. My Our older girls used to love Veggie Tales. And that's what all these remind me of, those little... <laughs> dancing veggies so cute um let's see so we we do have giveaways to do yes. um but mike were there some questions that we might have missed and if you are have questions about the discount code and the free yes. washi tape it's in the it's uh in the description below yes. uh do they jennifer asked do they still have ombre threads they do like the they're called variegated threads and dmc has them there are off brands but i don't recommend those i think dmc has high quality and the colors will stay good um waffle flower our friends at waffle flower also have their own line of dmc threads and those are good what like a good set you can get a good set of a lot of colors there too all right um did you design the stitching dies because of Jennifer? No, she did <laughs> not for me. She's got uh, she's got a bunch of t people on her team, Shari being one of them, who yes. likes to stitch, right? Yes, Shari and Rebecca, and um, and I think too we had designed that ma the mouse set that you guys had, and I can't remember if that was Renata's idea. Renata, who designs our dies, it might have been her idea then to do the embroidery hoop. And then idea. we then consulted with Shari and Rebecca to get it just right because Renata and I are not, you know, in stitchers. St yeah. stitcher? Is that the right word? I so don't know. So we're not stitchers. Um, and so that's why we designed it one, to make sure stitchers would love it, but also th so that people like me could successfully also stitch something. So yeah. I like that it's a die that can go both ways. And then it's just a bonus that Jennifer loves it. That makes me happy. <laughs> all the time, all the time. Uh, let's see. Um, I, do I use a special paper for stitching? No, I just recommend heavyweight cardstock. Um, I, the ones I used today were Lawn Fawn cardstock, um, like that Blue Jay that I was, this is that Blue Jay color that I love so much. And their cardstock is very heavyweight, so you could use that with no problem. If you have a lighter weight cardstock, I would recommend die cutting two and holding them together and stitching through two layers just so you don't have any problems. But really, I've never torn paper stitching. So if you have good quality cardstock, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, uh, somebody asked the diorama, the, is that the Tada one? Is that what it's oh, called? Yes. Do I need to purchase any other dies or is everything in the set? Everything is in the set for the Tada diorama. And this is how Lawn Font interactive dies work in general. 
Um, so everything that you need is always going to be in here. Then we like to make add-ons for things. So the reason we love that is because it takes your dye and it makes it new. So we, if this first came out in winter time and you made a lot of winter cards. Well, now with the butterfly window, it makes it feel like spring, but you don't need the butterfly window. You just need yeah. this dye and that'll have everything. The same thing goes for like the give it a whirl or platform pop-up, which is a really cute die. I can show you oh, one of those yes. in a second. Um, if you guys could grab me a platform pop-up card, please. And then, um, but yeah, so everything's included in the die. So that's awesome. And we do, Jennifer has an incredible video. We have a video that'll show you how to use all the pieces um, in there too. And Jennifer's video is amazing. So, um, and then this is like, for example, the platform pop-up which pops up and so you can mail it in the standard postage if it goes nice and flat but then you can have these cute little pop-ups here's another fun one and you know so here's those here, little veggie mice one of the things that i appreciate and i was talking before about how i like lawn fawns interactive die sets is because they're designed so that you can get a lot of use out of them it's not like you it, you have other products that work with it or it's like a general design that you could incorporate a lot of different products in, like the one where I used the big Altenew floral worked with it. And if you're gonna invest in an interactive die set, you need to have a lot that you can do with it. And that's one of the things I appreciate. I also like that here, like for example, here with this die set, you included little hearts in the center instead of leaving that empty, right? You, so yeah. you always have these extra little die, dies that are included in sets, which gives more value to the product. And I, I, I love that you do that. <laughs> yeah, we love it. We do it with either stamp sets or dies. If there's an empty spot, like it's the way, honestly, in the way I talk as well. If there's like silence, I have to fill it. Um, if, there's, <laughs> if there's a space, we have to fill it. We're like, you know what? People might need a house and a moon. So we put it in there. You might want a banner. I've, so we put it in there. I, I I forgot how much I love you. It's been too long. It's been it's too, too long. long. Gosh, it's um, been like you, over four years. I know. It's not yeah. okay. It's not okay. Um, do you have shipping? What is your shipping? Somebody's asking about shipping. Yes. So over 75, we have free shipping. Okay. Um, okay. And, um, and if not, I know we have the rest list. I believe it's, I can't remember the exact, but over 75 it's, is free shipping. Okay. Um, and then so, we have different flat rates and you can see that on our site too. Okay. Yeah. So the, just go to the shipping, the shipping, uh, area on their website Section, and they should be able yes. to find it. And then, uh, I think one last one here is Lawn Fawn ink pigment or dye or hybrid. So we kind of have all of them. So our colorful ones that I was using today, those are dye inks. Um, we also have the pigment ink that I also used today, which was the white pigment. And that's the only pigment ink we have. We have a clear embossing ink too. And then we technically have a hybrid ink and that's our jet black ink. And our jet black oh. ink is designed to work with any coloring. So whether yeah. it's like Copic markers or other alcohol based markers or water coloring. And you can tell the difference with this one because we put a little star on it and it says okay. alcohol marker friendly. And so if you see a star up there, you'll know it's that hybrid style ink that lets you do all of those fun coloring techniques, whether it's you know watercolor or alcohol markers. And I saw somebody ask if there's any coupons. There's a discount code in the description for 15% off and you get a free washi. So be sure to look in the description below. Um, Mike, can you scroll back a little bit? I saw something I wanted to mention oh somebody asked what you mentioned that you have a die that makes little sequins what yes set is so that? that that is in our happy heart die and we'll grab that one for you so you can see it is well we've actually included those are heart shaped sequins and then we have other sequins which one is the other one that this the one. sequins are in oh, oh yes Rebecca, so ours, just pulling that out of everywhere look at that is amazing yeah so here oh yes those so we included so once again just you know we're we're filling our space here at lawn Fawn. and um and that right here will cut sequins and if you cut it out of the holographic cardstock or the metallics it looks like a real sequin ah uh, look at that look perfect at that. And I got for a little shaker right so or if you want need to add like a little design happy hearts also has a heart shaped sequin which you can see there oh, and those are really cute so i like to glue them on the same way i would glue sequins onto a card like filling in my backgrounds here is one out of um holographic 
Oh, uh, that sparkles a lot. Right? Like so it, it feels like a sequin and it'll give you the different sizes too. Cause sometimes I can't find the right size sequin. And so I like having those little, those little ones there, um, you know, to fill in my different little spots in my cars. They have little teeny ones too. So it's just fun. Plus it's just, I love to die cut. So I want to die. Well, and then you too. can make you, then you don't have to buy a million sequins. You can make whatever color you yeah. need for a project and use up some scraps, which exactly it's we the need perfect. to do instead of hoarding them like we normally do. Yeah, we're, we, it's like, well, I'm saving these little like thin strips of pattern paper. Oh, if I showed you my drawer, it is embarrassing. The amount of like just random strips of pattern paper that I have in there. Well, I'm actually going to do a video soon on how I've tackled my scraps. So oh, I'm hoping goodness. we can all tackle our scraps. Put them to I know, you're, I have to tell you, I am, I am a very disorganized person. And the only things that are sort of organized in here are because of you, because we just follow what you tell us. <laughs> so I get my like labels and I've got my bins because if not, I, there would be a pile of stamps on the floor. So thank you for. Hey, well, I have not, that too. I got that too. <laughs> not only inspiring us to create beautiful things, but inspiring us to keep our things organized. <laughs> Hey, you know, I will, any reason to be in our craft room is a good reason. So, uh, you know, I love that. sometimes that's picking up. Well, I think we need to get going. I, I we've been here for over an hour and a half. Oh Thank you. But um, we do need to announce our two winners oh, and yeah. we're going to come back because she had some other ideas that we want to share. So we've already promised that we'll do this again sometime, right? Yes, I'm now excited. Now that we got it figured out. Now that we got it figured out. I know we've out. got it figured out and we'll figure out what happened to my camera and or get a new one. <laughs> it might I'll send you a link. Today. <laughs> I understand. Do you have a winner? <coughs> okay. Laura Flora. Laura. L-O-R-E-R. -E Laura Flora. Flora. Laura Flora. Laura Flora. Okay. She wins. Can you hold the basket yes. up so everybody can see what she won? Laura Floor. How do you spell her last name? F L O R E R. F L O R E R. Look okay. at that. And That's we'll have awesome. her write into info at lawnfawn.com. And we'll have Shari yes. put that email address in the comments too. Info at lawnfawn.com. Awesome. Wonderful. Yay, Laura. So, <laughs> and who's the next one, Mike? The next one is jo uh, Josie Dwyer. Josie Dwyer. Yay, Josie! Jo is that right? Josie Dwyer. Yay! Okay. And so email and she in gets a bag too. Yes, at info at and and then we'll we'll help you out with your goodies. And you'll have and you'll have your Easter grass for your Easter baskets too. <laughs> Save a trip to the store. <laughs> right? We we put these in all our orders and people always say they save them yep. for for, their Easter for sure. <laughs> for sure. Well, I have lots of things that we'll talk about next time. I want to see like your first stamp sets and hear more about the history and stuff. Um, it was fun to play today. I'm glad you joined me. Oh, I'm so grateful. This was so much fun. And thank you for having me. And, um, and, you know, it was fun to create live and get to chat with everyone and to get to chat for with you because sure. I feel like we were in the same room. It felt like that for a little bit. I know. And now it just makes me want to get on a plane though. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's lovely. I'm, I know where you live. I can just show up at the door, you, you know. You can just show up. There's a cute kid to play with. We have sunshine. So Lila, Lila would have to come. Lila would have to come too. So. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. And thank you for the generous discount code. That was very kind of you. And, um, I, you know, folks, if you need cardstock, this is a good time also to stock yeah. up on cardstock because they have great cardstock. Just to, it's something I think I often forget when I place orders is to check out the cardstock. So I always like to mention that. Um, if you have any questions, it's all in the YouTube description below. Go to Lawn Fawn's website because any product you get from Lawn Fawn, there are lots of examples and lots of videos. They have a great design team. So you can get a lot of inspiration on how to use your product. So definitely be sure to check that out. And a lot of the things we talked about are in the description below. I will put up a blog post with photos of our cards when I finish mine and <laughs> Kelly will send hers too. So I'll have that up um, probably in a couple days. So um, thank you, Kelly, appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jennifer. It was lovely I to miss get to you, crack love you. with everyone. Miss you, love you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you all. Bye-bye.
Bye.